All right, we're located out here in McMillan today, which is in East Abbotsford. And this is my favorite neighborhood to get into a starter detached home, move up from a townhome, condo, whatever it might be, and get into your very first detached home. This is it, we're in the heart of it right now. Stick around to the end of the video where I'm gonna show you guys everything that I love about this neighborhood, the pros and the cons. All right, welcome back to another episode of Agent Kelly Vlog Tours. Where I'm gonna take you guys all around McMillan, my favorite starter detached home neighborhood in all of Abbotsford. Would be my favorite neighborhood, but I gotta give it to Eagle Mountain. I just don't have $2.3 million to spend on a house. But this neighborhood, very close second. So this is what I love about the McMillan area, is that it's pretty much all 1970s split level homes on 7,000 plus square foot lots, which I've talked about before, is my favorite option for an investment. They're also some of the cheapest homes to get into as a first time home buyer, and they appreciate very well because they're on larger lots. And look at this, you have plenty of options to later on tear them down, build a bigger house, rent them out, because they usually have a suite as well downstairs, possibly do a duplex, fourplex, whatever, Actually, this used to be my older brother's house right here. I sold this one in uh, August of 2022. We sold that for a million fifteen. And uh, these homes today are probably around low millions, under a million fifty. If they have a suite, you know, it's going to be up close to that 1.1, just over 1.1. But you can still get a house for around a million bucks out here. Uh, McMillan is actually home to the Abbotsford Rec Center as well, which is literally right there, right down the street. So you got your gym located right here in the heart of McMillan. You could probably walk there if you owned a home right here. So right now we're gonna be driving up to an area called Glen Mountain, which I would say is in, uh, oh, Marble Hill. I'm actually gonna go check out a house later today. Oh, actually let's drive by right now. I have a showing booked for me. I'm looking to buy a house right now on this street, actually, right here. So I have a showing book to go check this one out later on today but yeah so this is glen mountain it's uh this is another really nice area the thing i love so much about mcmillan that you don't get a lot these days is it's still submersed in a lot of nature like you'll notice the parks everyone has a lot of trees in their in their uh front yard like i just love that so much about a neighborhood and there's very few of these types of neighborhoods left the ones closer to the bottom, you can get a house for 1.1 million. That Marble Hill one is listed at 1.1 right now. Obviously some pros to McMillan. It's a very family oriented neighborhood, right? A lot of younger growing families here, good schools, like some of the best schools in Abbotsford or in McMillan. Cheaper, it's affordable entry point. The crime rate is low, it's very safe. Um, I would say, you know, the downside to this area is you're not close, you're not far, but you're not close to amenities. Like you have to still have to drive probably 10 minutes, 15 minutes to a grocery store. Uh, obviously they have the gym right there, but I mean, outside of like the few restaurants they have at this little strip mall, you gotta drive to places. Although Cactus Club and stuff is like, like I said, yeah, it's probably like a 10 minute drive down the road from here, but there's nothing that's very walkable within this community. There is this massive plot of farmland right here at the back of McMillan. And, uh, oh, actually there's the development board right there. So what does it say? It says, so it looks like it's gonna be a mix of townhomes. As far as I know, it's townhomes. It looks like they've got a couple different zonings there. So it might be row homes, mix of row homes and townhomes. But this massive plot of land at the back of McMillan here is going to be developed at some point. Look at this neighborhood, hey, look at all the trees, look at the nature. You've heard me say it before, I call these trick-or-treat neighborhoods because as real estate got so expensive, young families were priced out of detached homes. Now young families are in townhomes and condos, right? So there really isn't any younger kids left trick-or-treating in neighborhoods with detached homes. This neighborhood, because it's a cheaper price point, it's beautiful, it looks like, you know, one of those picturesque neighborhoods you would have seen from like a movie in the 90s or whatever. I call them trick-or-treat neighborhoods because I bet there's kids here 
trick-or-treating because the price point is affordable and it's a beautiful family neighborhood. So I, I door knocked this area and I've only been yelled at like three times door knocking this area, which is like a record for me because normally every other house screams at me. They just don't know. They just don't know. They don't even know that I'm that Agent Kelly. They just screamed at literally one of the most important realtors of our generation. Dude, I'm a staple to the community. A generational talent. And here they are, swearing me off their front porch. They don't even know. Absolutely no respect in this industry. But this neighborhood only got yelled at maybe about three times. So people here are great. Like I said, beautiful neighborhood. I just said it before, I'm gonna keep saying it, man. I just, I love the trees. I love the, the nature, the pitch, the, uh, the, uh, the submersed in nature look that this community has. And then of course in McMillan, there's like a park. Every couple blocks, you'll see a park, which is nice. If you wanna walk, if you wanna walk the dogs or take the kids out or whatever. Um, this area seems to be a little bit newer. These homes look like they're late 80s to early 90s builds. So these homes too, were selling. A lot of them were going over 1.3 at the top of the market, 1.35, 1.4 even. Now they're all still hovering around that 1.1 mark, depending on the condition, the size, if it has a suite, all that stuff. But um, you're still buying these homes discounted from what they were at the peak of the market. I think it's a pretty good deal, in my opinion, to buy a 7,000 square foot lot for 1.1 million. I mean, people are paying like 1.2 just for the lot at the top of the market. Now you get a house on it. So just so you guys know, McMillan is probably 12 minutes from Highway 1. So depending on your commute, like I, right now I live in a condo that's literally like three minutes off the highway, which is nice. So if I moved out here, I'd probably be adding an extra 20 minutes to my commute. So that is another con of McMillan is it does take a little bit to get to the highway, but depending on your lifestyle, you know, I think it's completely worth it. All right, we're driving by the elementary school, McMillan Elementary, just another section of McMillan. I really just want to show you guys the area so you guys can get a feel for it if you're thinking of moving here. You know, I compare this area to kind of like, I like to compare everything to Surrey because I'm from Surrey and I think a lot of people who follow this channel are from Surrey. I compare this area to like Cloverdale. Now, obviously Cloverdale is a lot more flat than this area, but just the overall feel like, you know, Cloverdale is a good area for a growing family a younger family, it's a cheaper price point within Surrey, but also all the homes, like the age of the homes are roughly very similar to Cloverdale. And the amount of amenities you'd get in Cloverdale is roughly the same as here. Like Cloverdale, you gotta drive a little bit unless you go to that Savon Foods there. Oh, my fuel's low. Um, but yeah, it's, it, it, I, I would, if I had to compare this to Surrey, I would say this area is very, uh, most similar to, to Cloverdale. The topography of the area is not Cloverdale, but the types of homes and the type of people that live here is very similar to Cloverdale. Uh, by the way, guys, if you haven't already, go follow me on Instagram. You can even check me out on TikTok. This is probably my third platform that I'm most active on. I'm a lot more active on Instagram and TikTok. So if you have one of those, shoot me a follow. I'd appreciate it. So this is it. This is the McMillan area. It really is one of the last neighborhoods left that has this much character and that's still at an affordable price point. It's definitely one of my favorites, definitely my most favorite when it comes to affordability, all things considered. All round best neighborhood, I would say. So if you guys are thinking about moving here, if you have any questions about moving here, you guys can book that call with me with that link I got down in the description. Book it into my calendar. Me and you can chat one-on-one -on -one about it. And uh, as always, subscribe to the channel. Like the video. We see you guys on the next one. I'm that Agent Kelly and I'm making moves to move you. Peace.